In this video, I'm going to demonstrate connecting to Azure Storage with Visual Studio 2015 Release Candidate using a feature we call Connected Services. I'm Steve Lasker. I'm a Program Manager in our Cloud Platform Tools team at Microsoft. As you've likely experienced, connecting to modern services is a multi-step process, especially if you're working with multiple services, whether it be Azure, AWS, Google, Salesforce, Facebook, or others. You have to go to that service, provision the service to be consumed, typically OAuth, getting a consumer key in secret. You have to know the URL for that service, consume different proxies or SDKs to interact with that service, and then you're left to the World Wide Web to figure out how do you write code against that service. For Azure Storage, you would log into the Azure portal, you would create a new or find an existing storage user account, copy the connection string, add it to your config file, depending on the project you're using, read the value from config, then you'd finally get to start using Azure Storage. I'm going to demonstrate how this gets simplified with the feature we call Connected Services. I have Visual Studio 2015 Release Candidate here with an ASP.NET project open. Now I could go to Add Service Reference, except we know that won't work because it doesn't support pure REST or modern OAuth endpoints. I can go and add a NuGet, but then all I get is the SDK. I don't get any configuring of the service, and I don't get any of those values brought into my project. Nestled here in between the two is Add Connected Service, and I get a list of curated services, each one of these tailored to that particular service. I can go out to the gallery and find more, but I'm going to use the Azure Storage one. Because I'm logged into VS in my top right corner, my account is brought here, I can see the list of storage accounts. I don't have to then go and log into Azure yet again. I can create a new storage account right here. We'll call it the yet another account in the West US region. And when we create that, we're doing that creation here in Visual Studio rather than having to go out to the portal, log in, and create that. Now, if you're used to Azure, that's great. But if you're working with Azure, Salesforce, AWS, each one of those has a different experience. With that added, we'll click our account. We'll add it to our project, which adds a NuGet, the specific one for that service. It'll add the values to web config and such, my, such as my connection string. And in case you've closed the docs, which of course most people do because they're trying to get to the project, and then they wonder, hey, what was those docs? I can get back to that right here. We'll tell you what happened to the project, so there's no mystery. And we'll provide the samples in the docs rather than stuffing your project with samples. Our aim is to only put stuff in your project that you would use 90 plus percent of the time and if we've added any code, it would be scaffolded so that you own it. So now I'm ready to actually start coding against Azure Storage. So with connected services, we enable that rapid consumption of many services, ranging from Azure to Salesforce to DataLogix and others. It will configure the service endpoint as well as your project because it's custom tailored. If there's metadata APIs that it knows how to call that are not quote standard, it can do that. It should provide you guided next steps for what just happened, what samples, so that you know how to start using that service. And anything added to that project should be yours. We want to abolish the MC Hammer can't touch this style coding of generated code. We want to scaffold code into your project. And of course, this is enabled for first and third parties, such as Salesforce and Data Logix. Here's some more info on specifically on Azure Storage, connected services, or if you'd like to build your own connected services, the link to our SDK. So with that, I'm Steve Lasker. You can find my contact, contact info here, and I invite you to go off and consume more services. Thanks for watching.